Welcome to this video, where we are going to take a journey through the history of television. From its inception to the present day, we will explore how television has evolved and impacted our lives in numerous ways. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the world of television. Before we continue, feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel, which will help us enormously be more successful. The early days of television can be traced back to the late 19th century when a number of inventors began experimenting with the transmission of moving images. The first television system was patented by John Logie Baird in Britain in 1925, which used mechanical scanning to produce images. However, the system was limited in its picture quality and transmission range. In the United States, Philo Farnsworth developed a completely electronic system in 1927, which was more practical and advanced compared to Baird's mechanical system. Farnsworth's system eventually became the foundation of modern television technology. Despite its technological limitations, television quickly gained popularity as a medium for entertainment and news. The first public demonstrations of television were held in the late 1920s, and by the early 1930s, regular broadcasts of television programs were being transmitted in several countries. One of the earliest television broadcasts was the BBC's 30-line service in London in 1929, which offered regular programming for a few hours a day. In the United States, commercial television stations began to emerge in the late 1920s, and by the early 1940s, there were over 100 television stations across the country. During this period, television was primarily used for live broadcasts of news events, sports and entertainment programs. Live dramas and plays were particularly popular, as they allowed audiences to experience the excitement of live performances in the comfort of their own homes. The first regularly scheduled television news program, CBS Television News, was broadcast in 1941, marking the beginning of a new era of television journalism. Sports events, such as boxing matches and baseball games, were also broadcast live on television, providing millions of viewers with an up-close and personal look at their favorite athletes. Despite its growing popularity, television in its early days was limited in its reach, as the number of television sets was still relatively small. Furthermore, the picture quality was often poor, and the programming was limited in its scope and duration. Nevertheless, television in its early days laid the foundation for the medium as we know it today, and paved the way for the exciting technological innovations and programming developments that would follow in the coming decades. The Golden Age of Television, also known as the Golden Age of Live Television, refers to the period between the 1940s and the 1960s when television emerged as a dominant form of entertainment and communication. This era was characterized by the rise of live television dramas, the introduction of color television and the growth of television networks and programs. One of the defining features of the Golden Age of Television was the popularity of live television dramas. These dramas, which were broadcast live and unscripted, offered audiences an immersive and engaging viewing experience that was unlike anything they had seen before. Some of the most famous live dramas of this era include the Philco Television Playhouse, Kraft Television Theater and Studio One, which featured talented actors such as Marlon Brando, Lucille Ball and Sidney Poitier. The popularity of live dramas helped to establish television as a powerful and respected medium, and cemented its place in American culture. The introduction of color television was another major milestone of the golden age of television. In the late 1950s, color television sets began to become available for purchase, and by the mid-1960s, color television had become the norm. The introduction of color television revolutionized the viewing experience, as it allowed for more vivid and lifelike images that truly captured the essence of the programming. The golden age of television was also marked by the growth of television networks and programs. As television became more popular, new networks emerged, including ABC, CBS and NBC, which offered a diverse range of programming that catered to different audiences. The 1950s and 60s saw the emergence of iconic programs such as I Love Lucy, The Twilight Zone and The Ed Sullivan Show, which captivated audiences and established television as a central part of American life. 
the age of cable and satellite TV marked a significant change in the television landscape, as it brought about new technologies and programming options that transformed the way people watch television. Beginning in the 1960s and continuing through the 2000s, cable and satellite television rapidly grew in popularity, becoming a staple in homes across the world. The primary innovation of this era was the advent of cable television, which allowed for the delivery of television signals to homes via coaxial cables instead of over the airwaves. This allowed for the expansion of the number of channels available to viewers, as well as the delivery of clearer and more stable signals. With cable television, viewers could now access a much wider range of programming, including niche channels that catered to specific interests and demographics. In addition to cable television, the age of cable and satellite TV saw the rise of satellite television, which used orbiting satellites to deliver television signals directly to homes. This technology allowed for the delivery of television signals to remote and rural areas that were previously unserved, and paved the way for the widespread adoption of satellite television. Along with new technologies, the age of cable and satellite TV also brought about new programming options, as cable and satellite networks began to produce and distribute original content. Some of the most iconic cable and satellite programs of this era include The Sopranos, Mad Men, and Breaking Bad, which helped to establish cable and satellite television as a platform for innovative and high-quality programming. Furthermore, the age of cable and satellite TV marked the beginning of the era of video on demand, as cable and satellite providers began to offer viewers the ability to pause, rewind, and record live television. This allowed viewers to watch their favorite programs on their own schedule, and provided greater control over their viewing experience. The digital revolution in television refers to the transition from analog to digital technologies that has taken place since the early 2000s. This revolution has brought about major changes to the way people watch television, including the rise of streaming services, the increasing prevalence of smart TVs, and the growth of online video platforms. One of the defining features of the digital revolution has been the rise of streaming services, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and Hulu, which have changed the way people watch television. Streaming services have allowed viewers to watch their favorite programs on demand, without the need for cable or satellite subscriptions. This has resulted in a shift away from traditional television viewing habits, as viewers now have greater control over their viewing experience. Another key aspect of the digital revolution has been the increasing prevalence of smart TVs, which are television sets that are connected to the internet and can be used to access online content. This has made it easier for viewers to watch their favorite programs, as they can now access streaming services directly from their televisions without the need for additional devices. In addition to these developments, the digital revolution has also seen the growth of online video platforms, such as YouTube and Vimeo, which have enabled individuals and businesses to produce and distribute their own content to a global audience. This has created new opportunities for creativity and innovation, and has helped to democratize the television industry, making it possible for anyone to become a content creator. Furthermore, the digital revolution has also brought about new ways of engaging with television, including the use of social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook, which allow viewers to share their thoughts and reactions to programs in real time. This has created new opportunities for interaction and engagement, and has helped to foster a sense of community around television viewing. In conclusion, the history of television has been one of constant evolution and innovation. From the early experiments with mechanical television to the rise of cable and satellite TV, television has been a part of our daily lives and has continuously adapted to meet the changing demands of audiences. As we look to the future of television, it's exciting to consider the new technologies and programming options that are on the horizon. And that's a wrap on our video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this journey through the history of television. So, don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting content. See you in our next capsule.